Alright, welcome back. This is the second update since the stream. So, I just thought I'd start it off with a mistake. <laughs> and then here, I just wanted to show that there's some cool mechanics, like I can kill two things at once doing that. And then I ran into this thing inside of a cave, which was kind of cool. It's kind of like a master hunter, as you can see. And he ends up giving me a journal so that I can keep track of all the things that I've been killing and how many. And then this is just kind of what the journal looks like. Gives you a bit of information about different things you've killed. Some more death moments. <laughs> But I did end up freeing another one of these caterpillar things. I still don't know what that means. And then there's that chick from my first one. And I see her here now, going to the left, but I did not see that when I was playing, so I couldn't even go. And I thought this was a really cool far fall, and he just doesn't take any damage. And then I ran into this thing, which I was kind of like, damn, this thing's cool, but it's friggin' tough. So it took me a while, but I figured I'd show it off because it was a little difficult. You definitely want to pay attention to, like, what it's doing. It seems to need to block your attack, and then it starts attacking you, which makes it vulnerable to actually take an attack. But I can't seem to figure that out too well just yet. But I do end up getting him in the end anyway. So I ran into this guy and I was like, oh man, like the poor freaking dude. Like he must be one of my kind. He looks similar. So I gotta free him. Gotta save him from this bug. <laughs> and because it took me a while to actually catch this thing in order to hit it, I sped it up a little bit. Save us some time because I keep swinging and missing. Now that that thing is dealt with, I figure, okay, great, like, I've saved the guy, like, what's he gonna do, what's he gonna give me, what's he gonna say, like, I just saved his life, like, this must be important, I must be getting something out of it. <laughs> what? He is not giving me something, clearly. Nothing I want. <laughs> Man, you know, Ungrateful. And then I was walking down this pathway and I was like, this looks like I'm about to do something. So I healed up and uh, turns out I no, am about to do more. something. <laughs> so we're finally going to showdown with this chick and see what's going on. Learn more about her and find out what's up. So I thought it was pretty cool because she also looks like my species or whatever, just different. But very quickly, once I realized she keeps doing that like dive bomb thing, I was like, oh, so that's like a good time to kind of wait and attack. And as you saw, um, she does kind of get winded, you could say. So it gives me a chance to kind of cover, recover a bit. Like right there, she's winded again, so I just took shot. <laughs> that was a close call. She's already done it, but she'll do it again. I, that. I really didn't like that, but at the same time, it was really easy to kind of just avoid and attack her because she becomes vulnerable for a moment because she's waiting for the thing to fly back at her. Oh, damn. And 
I still didn't trust that she was done, so I kept swigging a bit, as you saw. And then she just buggers off. But I do get this Mothwing cloak, which is really nice, because now I can, like, dash around, which I obviously start doing and showing off. I really like the visuals here. And then it goes to a white screen. But I still like the visuals leading up to all that. And then I was thinking, like, who the hell is that? Like, I can't interact with them, nothing. And then here it just shows you, like, to do the move. And I'm getting too crazy with it and die trying to be fancy. So I did get stuck here before because I didn't have the dash, but now I want to get through here because I do. And I'm like, there's got to be something. And yeah, I'm showing this off because I do die a lot. <laughs> I thought it was funny. And I do end up getting a reward, but uh, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> And then, yeah, I thought it was cool how you could, like, open that treasure chest and it was, like, a doorway to this area. And I really wasn't prepared for those roly-poly things, so gotta go back. Go get my spirit and my geode stone and my money. Go in for a round two. So, one thing I didn't realize I could have done, but I'm noticing it now, is I could have just stood in front of the other one, and he would have stayed in the shell. And then I wouldn't have had to deal with, you know, two of them doing stuff like that. And then I spade it up a bit because I pretty much do the same thing, trying to, like, gather soul energy and heal and stay alive. But had I just let him spit one out and then go and stand in front of him, I would only have to deal with the roly-poly thing instead of that and the fireballs. So I don't know why I didn't think of that in the moment, but seeing me do it again now, that's what I would recommend if you're fighting these things because he's just going to stay in his shell if you're close to him and not launch the fireballs. And then you can freely attack that thing and uh, gather up your soul energy. And it is finally done and defeated. And then you can just like break the wall there so it's an easy access route uh, to go back the way you came. But over here, I do believe I got something. Ah, uh, yes. I got, like, a charm you can equip when you're at a rest point. And that's what it does. So then I go back up to town, because I'm ready to finish my playthrough for the day. And I'm like, oh, who's this? This guy's cool. So I talk to him. I feel like I might have seen him down below already. I can't remember. But then, to the left of him, is that guy that we saved, who was ungrateful and everything. Well then. So, I do go and see that there's like a lantern that I can buy, but it's expensive. Um, so instead I buy this uh, symbol key, because I do remember that to the very right of the town was that door right there that I needed a simple key to enter. So I was like, well, why not just buy it? I have the money. So I did so. And inside, it's pretty cool, but um, 
basically this guy here oh boy, is going oh to if i haven't tested it yet but if you um lose your spirit then you can like get it back so yeah that's the end of the second update i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching